What's going on everyone? I got a brand new movie review for you guys today and today I'm going to be discussing Netflix's new original film Bird Box. Bird Box is directed by Susan Bier and stars Sandra Bullock, Sarah Paulson, John Malkovich, Jackie Weaver, Machine Gun Kelly, B.D. Wong, and really the cast goes on from there. Bird Box is a film that I find really quite interesting to come out this year because one it parallels A Quiet Place because A Quiet Place was all about not talking and being as quiet as possible. And Bird Box is all about not seeing and not being able to see anything because they have to wear blindfolds throughout the whole entire film. Because due to the fact is this film is about a woman and a pair of children who have to wear blindfolds and make their way through a dystopian setting along a river while going back and forth between time periods and showing how this happened and what was going on. Is it monsters? Is it demons? Is it creatures? Because for some reason, when people see these things, they end up killing themselves. That also does sound like the happening. Wait, the second I walked out of this film, I said, this is the better version of the happening. Like, literally the better version of The Happening. A lot of the reasons that it is better than The Happening is one, the concept is very established and I was very hesitant to see how it would be flashing back and forth between two different timelines. And overall, it actually works. One of the things I think it does knock against it, though, is the fact that when you see a lot of characters in the original timeline and then flashing forward, you kind of know who survives and doesn't. And that was kind of an issue for me. But besides that... You think it's really cool in the way that they're portraying it. You get to learn a lot about the mythology and what's going on. They really push this emphasis of what this is and what it might be. And it makes you very on the edge of your seat. This is a dark film and it keeps you there because you're just wondering what's going to happen next. Like the urge, what mythology you're going to learn about these monsters. And the cool thing about each and every one of these monsters that you do start to learn about is the fact is... You learn with the characters. When the characters figure out something, you figure it out. You can start putting pieces together, but overall, you start piecing it together with those certain characters. And I really like that the timelines made you intersect and make you learn this. And every time it would flash forward, you would start to kind of like put two and two together. Like, okay, that's why I need to know that. That way it's not just thrown at you. This film could have easily been a very quiet film, just moving through wearing, people wearing blindfolds and just trying to survive. And certain pieces that really furthered out this world and made it a little bit stronger. But might I say one thing? Hollywood, please stop underusing Sarah Paulson. She is such a fantastic actress and she's barely in this movie. In fact, a lot of these actors kind of pop up and you're like, oh my God, Machine Gun Kelly. Uh, oh my god, is is that John Malkovich? B.D. Wong? Sarah Paulson? And really, it goes down from there. You see a lot of most notable actors and actresses in here that just show up. And they're all good. They're all portraying the typical person they would portray. But I will say that Sandra Bullock gives the best performance in this film. She does such a great job. Like, she is just this overprotective caring person who doesn't want to get attached to certain things but as her character fleshes out you understand why she is a strong dynamic character in here and i think she was easily the best part of bird box she was one of the reasons why this film was so strong because she is our main lead and she furthers every single moment in this movie with the portrayal on her face and the stress and the careness that she has in her but also the way that she delivers each and every one of her dialogues and i mean this is something that we all know sandra bullock to have but i have to mention it bird box is a very strong film it's effective film it keeps you on the edge of your seat it keeps you understanding what's going to happen and keeps you intrigued overall with what's going to go on even though it can be predictable at a couple parts and get a little bit cheesy at times it's still an entertaining watch and something I can really praise Bird Box for. And the title is really interesting the way that it ties into the movie. I I, I really just sitting here doing the review, I kind of noticed why it's called Bird Box. Overall, I really like Bird Box. This was a surprise film for me. I went in really not knowing anything. Heard some ill-mannered things, thought it was okay, thought it was good, but walked out really liking it and i know it is going to be pushed into some theaters so i do recommend if you can see it do see it in theaters if you can't it's going to be on netflix so do check it out so with all that said i'm going to give bird box a b minus
Fox was a big surprise for me, guys, and I can't wait to hear what your guys' thoughts are on this film. Thank you guys again so much for watching this. You guys are seriously all the best, and I can't wait to talk with you guys on my next review. Of course, guys, if you're looking to get in some movies early, make sure to check out Sandwich on Films also down below, because right then there, we do get out advanced movie screen tickets. We do some giveaways, and we also check out some movie news and even some movie reviews over there. But guys, of course, until next time, stay classy.